Single player ain't dead yet, no matter what you heard. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 upcoming single player games coming out this year. <laughs> this is too good to be true. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin off channel, Mojo Plays, for in depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays, game smarter. For this list, we're only looking at games which are set for a 2018 release and have single player as their primary focus, meaning no Smash Brothers Ultimate, since that's all about multiplayer. Come on. Yahoo! Number 10, Mega Man 11. Now I'll show you light! Everyone's favorite Blue Bomber is returning this year for the next main entry in the Mega Man series, going strong since 1987. While the core gameplay is supposed to be the same run-and-gun action platforming that we're used to, the graphics are taking a modernized departure from the pixels that have been the staple of every other entry. Eleven will be in 2.5D, with smooth 3D character models and environments, but still retaining the side-scrolling shooter action. The gameplay also has a new element, the double gear system, allowing Mega Man to have either increased attack power or slow down time depending on which one he has equipped. I want to do this no matter the cost. Hook me up! Number 9, Starlink Battle for Atlas. Could use a little help here. Can you hear me? Damn it. I did. An evil army who wants to take over the universe? Dangerous advanced technology belonging to an extinct race? Interstellar dogfights and fully customizable spaceships? Starlink Battle for Atlas already sounds pretty awesome, admittedly, even before you add in the fact that on the Switch version, you'll be able to team up with Fox McCloud and his trademark Arwing. While its Toys to Life system could be a turnoff for some hardcore gamers, being that the toy element is actually completely optional, and that again, it's got Star Fox in it, Starlink is definitely gonna make a big splash. Install your Joy-Cons on your Starlink Battle for Atlas mount controller. 2. Slide in a pilot with specific abilities you need. Number 8. Just Cause 4. But the rules have changed. The enemy changed. The real star of the Just Cause series has never really been Rico Rodriguez. It's always been the open world that he screws up. The upcoming sequel takes this to the extreme once again. Because it's not just the player who can destroy everything in sight, the game does this itself too. This is thanks to its all-new weather mechanics. Most excitingly, the realistic tornadoes that will obliterate everything in their path. Aside from reenacting the beginning of The Wizard of Oz, however, this also promises to have a much larger and more serious story than previous installments, meaning that Just Cause 4 might just appeal to every gamer on some level. Welcome to Just Cause 4. Number 7, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. Longtime fans of Koji Igarashi will be pleased to know that this spiritual sequel to Castlevania is expected to release later this year. Bloodstained has both an intriguing story and solid gameplay, taking 2D platformer elements from Igarashi's previous Castlevania titles, as well as their gothic supernatural concepts. Basically, it's just a new Castlevania game, but they couldn't get the rights, so what else do you need to know? Number 6, Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. Fate hanged by a thread. We must fight fire with cold steel. It was actually released in July of 2017 in Japan, but Western audiences have had to wait this long to get a glimpse of a playable Western version. Finally, a release window for this easy-to-pick-up JRPG has been announced, and it's coming to PlayStation 4 and Microsoft Windows this September. The reason the Western release is taking so long is because the developers are taking extra care with their Japanese to English translations, as well as adding a full voice cast which the Japanese version did not have. With this in mind, Dragon Quest XI is definitely going to be worth the wait for fans. Number 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Lara Croft's chaotic adventures continue this September with the third game in her rebooted series, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. While exploring South America, Lara inadvertently begins the Mayan Apocalypse, which then she of course has to re-prevent, all while trying to put an end to the evil paramilitary organization Trinity. Fans of the first two games should be pleased to hear that this new game will build upon both of them, complete with bow and arrow hunting, crafting, and a lot of dudes stabbed in the neck. Number 4, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Oh 
fans of both Pokemon Go and the more traditional Pokemon RPGs, this game is for both of yous. The next two games in this ever-popular franchise, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, will be coming to the Nintendo Switch and will provide brand new ways to play. The control scheme means that players can play the entire game with just one of the Switch's Joy-Cons, allowing for fully integrated co-op. But the coolest thing about them is that there's an exclusive Pokeball Plus controller that you can buy, letting you truly feel like a Pokemon trainer. Uh, key point, try not to throw it. Sounds like there's already one inside. Number 3. Assassin's Creed Odyssey Before you, I see a path. The series returns to its yearly release cycle with the newest and maybe biggest one yet. It's the closest to a classic role-playing game that Assassin's Creed has ever been, with players able to choose between a male or female protagonist, Alexios or Cassandra, right from the beginning and earning stats as they explore ancient Greece at the dawn of modern civilization. It has the biggest map in an AC game so far, and will even feature branching dialogue trees and different quests and consequences depending on your choices. In certain ways it may look like your traditional AC, but we have no doubt that it'll be an incredible game nonetheless. But your enemies have abilities of their own, and will challenge you like never before. Number 2. Spider-Man, aka Spider-Man PS4 Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. During his lifespan as one of Marvel's most beloved superheroes, Spider-Man has unfortunately had quite a few stinkers when video games are concerned. However, his upcoming PS4 title looks anything but a stinker. Spider-Man is set to revitalize the story-driven superhero genre. It's gonna have the most advanced web-slinging mechanics of any Spider-Man game to date, too, allowing players full freedom where they go and what they do as New York City's flagship hero. If that wasn't enough, the plot hinges on Peter having to take down some of his biggest foes, obviously, as they stage a mass prison breakout at the beginning. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ready to engage. We have to unite as one. Otherwise, we'll never make it across the ice. Number 1. Red Dead Redemption 2 Maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. 2010 gave us Rockstar's original Western epic, Red Dead Redemption, and 2018 is set to bring us its equally epic prequel. You play as a new protagonist, Arthur Morgan, who is a member of the Vanderland gang and the right-hand man of Dutch himself. The game will follow the gang in the year 1899 right at the end of the age of cowboys, gunslingers, and the frontier lifestyle of the Old West. It maintains the previous game's honor system, as well as bringing back the much-loved train heists. But most importantly, it'll almost certainly have a gripping story to match its outstanding graphics. Do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.